When our applications crash at startup, it can be really hard to know what exactly is going on. Hopefully we have log files that can help us, but sometimes we just want to attach a debugger to see what is going on. Let's mash on that. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of the ASP NetMonsters. In today's episode, we're going to look at something that is, I, I assume, designed for people who are not us, people who have written software with a bug in it. Uh, I understand there's quite a few people out there who do that. But we, we are believers in never writing bugs. Uh, it's definitely easier if you just don't put the bugs in the first place. Yeah, it's like the happy go more approach, right? Like golf yeah. is a lot easier if you just get the ball in the hole on the first shot every exactly. time. Exactly. All right, so tell me about uh, how we can solve this problem. Yeah, so what I've done here is just created a very simple example of a Windows service that's going to be deployed into like Windows services uh, that is crashing on startup. So I think we've done an episode before on creating Windows services. I'll just link to the documentation in case folks are interested in how to do that. And my little Windows service doesn't really do anything other than log out some information on a timer, uh, but it's crashing at startup. So I've already gone in here and uh, deployed this. So I deploy the application using sc.create, um, giving it the path to my uh, local publish folder here. So I build the app and then I've published it or deployed it to Windows services here. And in this lovely old UI that I can't zoom in on, I click the start link and it attempts to start and then it crashes. So I get this error saying Windows could not start this service on the local computer. The service did not respond to the start or control request in a timely fashion. And I check my log files. I can't quite figure out what's going on here, why it's crashing. Uh, so I'm going to use this nifty little trick here that's part of system.diagnostics to attach a debugger to it when it starts up. So I just go to debugger.launch. And that's it. Um, having that one line of code here is going to cause the debugger to attach to it uh, right at startup. So now I can go and just do a .NET publish to uh, rebuild using that change, add that line of code. And now when I go and click start, I should immediately see this dialog here that says, uh, you want to debug this? Yes, I do. And then it gives me another prompt saying, which uh, Visual Studio do you want? Do you have one open already? Do you want to use that or do you want to use a new one? I'm going to use the one that's already open because it already has the right solution open. And now I'm in the debug experience. So I have the debugger attached and I can just start stepping through this code just like I normally would. And I can inspect what my builder looks like. I can see that there are 45 services already registered. That's kind of amazing for the two lines of code that have executed so far. And I can just keep stepping through and eventually I see that the reason it's crashing is for some reason it's trying to load this temp file um, that's not found. So mystery solved. I now know why the application is crashing. At least I can go and fix, probably remove this line of code that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. And that's it. That is super useful. Um, debugging early stage startup problems are like the bane of my existence, especially when it comes to like legacy ASP.NET applications that for yep. some reason decide not to start on Azure. And then it is just a game of like shells to try and figure out why it is not starting. So having something like this uh, would be very useful to have in place. Yeah, I've used it in scenarios like that for like local IIS. There's scenarios where like it would work if I just hit run from Visual Studio, but when it was deployed to IIS, for whatever reason, it wasn't working just something slightly different. So adding that debugger.launch there made it really easy to uh, start it up in in IIS, run it in that context, mm -hmm. but still attach the debugger at, right immediately at startup. Oh, excellent. OK, well, this is super handy. Uh, and hopefully, people out there will find it similarly. So uh, speaking of people out there, those of you watching this, uh, remember to like, comment, and share on this video. and. Uh, we will see you all on the next episode. Bye. Bye.